Hi guys, it's Violet Queen. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I sat down to film. I've done some work with the lighting. It's to be a little bit more natural, a little bit less bright and stark. I've changed the background to white, which is just a wall, really. And my Christmas tree has, is making an appearance in this video. Um, so today I just wanted to film a very easy get ready uh, face for the office. Um, at, these, at this time of the year, Sometimes we can get a little bit crazy with um, how we look in the office, and that's okay if you want to. Um, but I'm just keeping it a little bit more simple for the office look. Um, so I just paired it with some a nude lip with a little bit of gloss and no eyeliner. Well, no top eyeliner, just bottom eyeliner, um, some blush and highlight. Just very simple. You can use this every day, not necessarily to the office, but to any place you work or you know, just running errands or something like that. This is the look I use for running errands. It's very simple, very easy, and it's very, you know, most importantly, very quick to do. So if you like this look, go ahead and keep watching. Okay guys, so I'm starting with, I've already um, toned my face with this, um, what is this called? Toner. A toner from Witch Hazel Toner. I use this almost every day. I really like it. I bought it here. I use it for a while. And I'm using two... I'm using these. I got these from Sephora. They're supposed to be... I don't know. They're from The Drunk Elephant. There we go. I was told they're really, really good, but I got the sample size because these are really expensive. Really, really um, good, so I gave them a try. This one is a vitamin C type day serum, and this one is for moisturizing. So I will insert pictures of those, and maybe I'll let you know how they work for me. So I'm going to just put them on. If you have oily skin and you need a lot of protection, I would still use this. I use this around my nose and the like hair because it gets very oily no matter what. So, so that looks a lot better already. And then I'm going to go in with this sample from Coors. It's um, an anti-age primer. It more goes on to me like a, like a cream. It's very, you know creamy looking like a moisturizer so I put that on the circumference of my face put that hair back it was really getting on my nerves so there we go and I can see my face it's looking a bit fresh all right so my mirror is here so that's why I'm looking over here okay so I got my primers on um, sometimes like here my face looks a bit um, Oh, my pores are really obvious so I use this baby skin from Maybelline and I just tap a little bit to fill in those pores there to get real up close into the mirror for your brows and just start working on them however you do your brows you can do that and I'll be right back okay so those are my brows I'm gonna go ahead and put um, a foundation, a concealer down on my face to cover some of my imperfections, which I have many. I don't know what's going on with my face. It, I have so many acne scars. I don't know what to do. Anyway, since, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put, sorry, my, I'm using Lang Lo, a paint pot from MAC as a base for my eyelids, because they're a bit oily. My laying low is down. I wonder if that light is flipping around. Anyway, so I have laying low down, and I'm going to go ahead and put some concealer. This is the, the NARS in Dark 2 Cocoa. I'm going to put that around here because I have some pigmentation around my lip and some spots over here. My foundation does a good uh, job at covering up 
most of them but I like to give it a little help sometimes so that looks good so with a slightly damp beauty blender I'm gonna go ahead and blend that all in So now with that all blended, we can go ahead and put the foundation on. So I'll be right back after I put my foundation on. Okay, now my foundation is blended in all the way. It's nice and even canvas. I don't see much pigmentation on coming through which is a good thing I'm gonna highlight underneath my eyes and I'm gonna use the my favorite concealer from Maybelline the fit me and this one is in the color cafe 30 this is a really good con um, under eye concealer it's not too bright it gives you a more natural look but still highlight it a bit, you know? Now, if you are going out after the work and you think you might want to be a bit brighter, I would say go ahead and add maybe a touch of a lighter one. Oh, this is a lot. I put on much more than I needed. Ugh. So I would say go ahead and put on a touch of something a bit lighter. So I'm going to go in with this one from NARS. This is the NARS Creamy Concealer and this is going to be in the color Medium Dark 1 in Biscuit. I got this and I don't know how I got this but I intend to use it because it's expensive. So I'm just going to dot a little bit of that there. This will add a little bit of brightness on the eye. You could already see how bright it is. Um, if you want to add a little touch of that anywhere else, you can go ahead. I'm going to put two bits there, one bit on my nose, a little bit here, a little bit there. So I'm going to go ahead and blend that in and I'll be right back. Okay, so now, now I've already highlighted my face, I'm going to go in and set that highlight. I'm not going to do cream contouring because it's a, it's a day look, it's an office look. So there's no need for that. Well. If you want to, I mean, I do it sometimes, but for this purpose, not today. So I'm going to go in and set that. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier um, translucent powder and I'm going to set my under eye and I'll show you something else. So using a little brush like this. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and apply a powder to my face. I'm pulling out an old uh, powder from not old, but I don't use it that often. This is from Mac It's their pro long wear powder pressed and this is in deep dark So I'm gonna set my face with that Using a stippling brush. I find that this applies powder lightly to my face, so I don't feel like um, You know cakey you don't get a cakey look so just put a little bit on my brush Now I've added my powder to my face, I want to go ahead and set my lids, my eyelids. I'm going to use the same powder to do that. I got this Black Radiance um, kit. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Black Radiance. Is it? Yeah, Black Radiance kit. Um, it's their Contour True Complexion Contour Palette in the medium to dark. And this is $7.99 at your drugstore. I got it from Target. Of course I had to get it shipped here and blah, 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 but whatever it came and it is absolutely gorgeous I mean the highlight is great this is the highlight this is to set like you know under your eyes and stuff like that and this is the contour shade and for women of color this is amazing I think they have it in light too and when I'm in the US I'm going to pick it up so pick this up this one and put it further down on my face like here it just adds an extra little bit under my eyes as well. It adds a little bit of color, but 
because sometimes the setting powder from the, the translucent one comes off a bit to me white and this just adds a little bit of warmth I think to my sculpting process down the bridge of my nose basically anywhere I would have put the just a little bit nothing too extravagant you know just a little bit and now I'm gonna go ahead and contour with the contour shade So I'm going to use a blush because why not? I'm using this blush from MAC. It is an extra dimension blush. It's See Me, Hear Me. It was in a collection. The Aquatics collection. I've had it for some time now. I use my shit, okay? I like to collect stuff, but I like to also use it because this is money, right? So this, I find, adds a nice, natural flush to my cheeks. It's not too overstated, and it's not too understated as well. This eyebrow, for some reason, it's not rightly lined up, but I could still see, like, you know, it's not completely cleaned up, but it's okay something a bit nude-ish. It's the holidays, but it's the office. So I'm gonna use Anita. From MAC. I need to get my lip gloss. So I'm gonna add a touch of NARS lip gloss, and this one is in Tasmania. 